Minecraft to come to Oculus, Ubisoft on Nintendo, and more on this weekly roundup brought to you by The Crew. Hey everyone, Andrew here. Earlier this week, Notch tweeted out that he is no longer upset about Facebook buying Oculus and hinted that he would be interested in making Minecraft for the hardware. Which would make sense considering you can play Minecraft on pretty much every other device already. There is no guarantee yet that this will happen, but with a large following, this would be good for both companies. It's no secret that the Wii U has had a harder time this generation than it did with the Wii. Some chalk up its lackluster sales to the slim lineup of games on the console. As improvements have been coming more recently, there is still progress to be made. Unfortunately, they might be losing out on future games from Ubisoft. A few months ago, Ubisoft mentioned they had finished making games for the hardware, but poor sales of their titles had them not releasing the material. In a recent interview, Ubisoft's CEO, Yves Guillemot, mentioned that Assassin's Creed is a flagship title franchise and barely sold on the Wii U in comparison to other platforms, and expressed uncertainty with which Ubisoft games will be making it to the console. Is this the same problem that plagued the previous Wii? Sure, it sold a lot of consoles, but even last generation game sales were low in comparison to other consoles. With the passing of Robin Williams last week, gamers around the world have been coming together in hopes to convince developers to include a tribute to the actor considering he was a gamer himself. So far, it would appear that some models of him could be making their way into World of Warcraft. The models are currently based off existing characters in the game, but could be making their way into the next expansion later this year. There is also a petition being signed by fans of Nintendo, hoping for the same treatment for the next Zelda game, since the actor actually named his daughter Zelda from the game. This week's roundup is brought to you by The Crew. The next generation of driving games will be here November 11th. But in the meantime, you can try this revolutionary action driving game developed exclusively for next-gen consoles by claiming a beta key at Curse.com in the coming weeks. The game takes you and your friends on a reckless ride inside a massive open-world recreation of the United States. We'll leave you a link in the description. That's going to be it for this week's roundup. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Have a great week of playing and enjoy the game.